purpose of this demo, we'll go through, um, we'll go through the custom create option. Um, then we pick a name, so let's just say it's demo, and the next, thing, the next thing is where you make the choice of the type of cluster you want. So if you were to choose a provision cluster as you would do today, this choice doesn't exist today or didn't exist till yesterday, you would choose a Kafka version, uh, you would choose the number of brokers, the type of brokers, and then you would also choose storage uh, and configuration. All this you don't need to do if you're using serverless. So you just click here, all that goes away. And it tells you that you get with each cluster, you get up to 200 Mbps of, you know, as we discussed, write throughput, 400 Mbps of read throughput. Right now there is a 250 GB max storage per partition limit, um, but this will be relaxed once we, once we, uh, you know, once the service matures and we go towards GA. We don't have a fi final, final timeline yet, but yeah, close to GA we look to relax this limit. And then same on the number of partitions. Today you can create up to 120 partitions per cluster, uh, but this limit is also within our plans to relax. And then you click next. This will take you to the network configuration page. Uh, this is where you can choose the virtual private cloud with, that you wanna attach to your, or basically in which you wanna place your clients. Uh, you ha basically whatever VPCs are in your region, you will see it in the dropdown. I'll choose my default one for now. Uh, and then as I mentioned, you can create, you can attach subnets or choose subnets which will, which will ensure high availability. So, uh, you know, the first subnet, let's just take, I'll, I'll do it in US East 2A and the associated subnet with it. And then as a backup, I'll also uh, attach US East 2B here so that MSK, the signals to MSK that you need to create a network interface in 2B as well, even though I might not have a client there right away. Uh, and you can add up to three. So you can add one more or you can choose to limit it at two. Uh, and then you can choose a security group. The security group, ob obviously, you know, it provides another layer of security. It sort of can control who, who has access to uh, these subnets or, or these, these broker ins or th these clusters that you have. Um, and you can choose up to five VPCs. And then you click next. Uh, this just tells you the IAM access control method is activated on this. Right now, it's the only one that's available. The next step is where you would just look at, you know, it just tells you you're also gonna publish a few metrics. And then the next screen is just a review screen where you can just view everything and make sure it lines up with what you wanted to do or if you wanna edit something, you can enter an edit flow uh, and go back and, and change it. And then the, the, uh, uh, the best thing is that, you know, the, typic, the time to create a cluster is now uh, come down to five minutes. So, you know, you, you will be able to uh, have a cluster up and running within five minutes. Uh, I'll hit create, but we won't fi wait for five minutes, just like a, a cooking show. Uh, I have clusters uh, that are created from before, so this is a, uh, you know, this, there are two demo clusters that I created beforehand. Uh, one is the serverless cluster, and the other is the provision cluster. Um, and I'll quickly go into sort of, you know, uh, uh, an IDE and show you guys how this is, how this looks like in terms of producing and consuming. So I'll, I'll, I'll basically fire up two client, uh, uh, you know, I'll connect two client instances in, in two parallel windows because on the left side, uh, we'll have a console producer running which will produce messages and on the, left, on the right side, we'll have a console consumer reading. It does. Okay. So yeah, 